all you wonderful people. Boy, it's been a long time. <laughs> Good to have you here. I'm so sorry I've been off. <clears throat> Too much been going on. And we've had flu at my house. We've had um, down with back pain. And We had to go to Riley's Children's Hospital again. And so, it's just been busy, 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 busy. And with doctor's appointments, we got another one today with one of them and a meeting tonight for a fundraiser. And then, uh, I'm heading over. I just went to school because well, I forgot to take medicine. It's raining and I'm trying to talk loud over the windshield wipers. But it's pouring. Uh, I did do part of another video. I don't think I ever finished it. So I may upload it and then upload this when they make them out the same day. But uh, this is the 20th of March. I think this is the first day of spring. And it's raining. Um, and it was a full moon last night and figured that out because um, I have my uh, one child that is usually good as gold um, was a pain in the rear yesterday and Nicole came over this morning and she worked 911 last night and I said I don't know you know maybe it's a full moon and uh, she said it was a full moon <laughs> she was telling me about all the crazy things happening and I am a firm believer in, in that stuff my mom worked on a psych ward and she said that they could always tell us full moon. And when I was teaching, um, we knew when the kids as a whole acted up, it was either one, well, I'm like bleached out here, um, a full moon or it was the, we were getting ready to have a big snowstorm, one of the two. And so it just depended on <laughs> the year. Usually they acted up more for snowstorms than they did for um, full moons but I uh, am not going to put my kids on here anymore because YouTube has gone through and if they find minors on videos they are going to turn off comments um, to the whole channel and so in order to in order to avoid that um, I'm just not gonna risk it so that's why we didn't talk yesterday when we were going on down to Riley's. And I'm sorry about that because I know it's fun to have um, Randy in here and Jesse in here. So, uh, but right now, until they get everything straightened out, it's probably best that I don't uh, rock the boat. Uh, I have spoken with the boys. That's another reason I think the one is acting up think he's upset um, but I have noticed a little bit of a decline and I thought that it was uh, I was blaming it on thyroid and um, anemia and I don't know about the anemia yet but uh, thyroid is always a big one last time I went and got my lab which if I upload the other video that I never finished um, You'll know that um, my thyroid number is now close to one, which is where the neurologist wants it. It's on the edge of too high. So um, that's where they want it. And so it's not the thyroid. It just seems like I'm more foggy than usual. I, have, I still have good days, but my good days are not as good as they used to be bad days are not necessarily a lot worse if they're getting um, well let me put it this way um, I'm good during the day and then as the night comes there's a certain point that I'm going to say about oh, probably about 8 o'clock um, don't ask me any questions maybe even a little bit before that like seven I cannot um, 
you know, like homework has to be done before that because I can't help after after that time because I cannot think straight as far as, you know, being quizzed and asking about long division and that kind of stuff after eight o'clock. Um, and I've noticed that at that point, my mind is done. My brain is done. And so I've been kind of sneaking off the bed a little bit earlier, going to my room a little bit earlier. So I did have a talk with the boys 101, all three of them. Um, Randy understood, and he's been uh, being very helpful. Um, Jesse, Jesse, I think he has this sense of, I talked to him and told him, but I got the feeling that he already knew, you know. Um, I think he's got a sixth sense to this and understands and is very observant and can tell tell things maybe before I even notice them because um, it didn't come as a surprise to him um, and uh, then uh, Peyton has just gone off the deep end as far as being moody and uh, asking me wants to talk about it doesn't want to talk about it doesn't want to go refusing to go to counseling for it right now uh, so let him settle down he uh, did, refused to do something for me yesterday as far as his work goes, um, picking up after himself and uh, taking the recycling out. And all I could say to me is, I brought the trash can up. Well, big deal. I was supposed to bring the trash can up. But I think, and I turned his data off, and that really pissed him off. Um, and, but his medicine hadn't kicked in when I talked to him on the phone, and he, uh, need to settle down and I just think that he is heartbreaking and um, so I'm trying very hard to um, you know I'll eventually turn back on his data because I understand that it's it's you know not only stupid hormones and I'm not trying to give him a, a pass, you know, for his behavior. But uh, at the same time, I think by punishing him, it's showing him that I still have control and that I still am in charge. And that uh, if he needs to be punished, I'll punish him. And he's got, you know, a good life now. and. <laughs> You know, he he needs to appreciate that, and which I think they do. I really, truly believe all three of them do. I know Randy does, because he had to give, I found this out. Um, I know I haven't blogged this, because I just found this out last week when I had to go back to school. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit, too. Um, but uh, he... Uh, I found out that he had to do an oral report on like a kind of like a biography kind of thing. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry, we got cut off because um, I got a phone call, but no big deal. <laughs> it wasn't a school, wasn't anybody in trouble, it wasn't anything like that. So anyway, um, I am going to. gonna have a sit down and a lovey-dovey sit down with Aiden because I know that he's not handling this stuff very well you know he's already lost two parents and um, he's scared to death of losing another one um, that's why I try to assure them the best I can that this doesn't necessarily have to be a fast progression that we're working very hard on making it a slow progression um, and so, uh, he's a he's a different sort of kid. He's the one that you look at and it crushes him. Um, Randy, you have to twist his arm and just do about everything you got to do to get his attention. Um, and then, just doesn't care what you do to him. <laughs> he's going to do what he wants. Boy, he went nine weeks without internet. 
didn't bother him a bit and I, that shocked me I, that really did shock me I thought that was going to be an issue but it wasn't uh, he drew he made things um, kind of got back into some of his interests that he had when he was little um, and so he's a really good artist he is he's only in fifth grade and is only had you know regular elementary art class and he is really really talented in art so um really need to he wants to be in band and in junior high he in sixth grade he can do art and band in seventh and eighth grade he's got to pick one or the other well if he drops band he can't get back in it for high school when he can do both and so he wants to do BAM for two years and then pick it back up in high school. But I think he really needs to be in art. So um, I don't know. I don't know if you can get like art lessons or something that he could do for a couple years before uh, while he's in band so that he can still get, keep his, some learn some things. Um, I don't know if that even exists. But. Anyway, that's a thought. Uh, and let's see. So I've already talked. While I got the call, I went ahead and uh, that was from somebody else. I went ahead and talked to Aiden for a while on the phone, and he's feeling a little better. He I he understands that I understand that he is having some. Sorry that he is having I guess I found the camera didn't I um a hard time a hard time emotionally and part of that is not me part of it is I had a girlfriend and they broke up and then um he uh um doesn't have any place to go right now because he's decided he doesn't like his room downstairs and I don't know why because um, it's a nice room but I think he just doesn't like being that far away um, frankly between you and me and fly on the wall he is a mama's boy um, and I don't I think he knows it and I don't think he shies away from it um, so anyway Randy went down there and fixed it up as a game room which is kind of cool actually um, and so uh, but his uh, his machine that he bought broke and it hasn't been working for almost two weeks and so he really that's what he would go down and do he'd play that to blow off some steam and then come back up and since he doesn't have that he stays upstairs all the time in the living room and really doesn't go down doesn't go downstairs at all and there, there's always people in there and people around and coming in and coming out and the boy has he's 15 and has zero privacy because of that um, so I understand that. He's actually gone down a couple times just to play on his phone just so that he could be away from everybody. Um, and I think he's starting to realize that he needs that alone time again. Because, you know, when you're 15, um, you don't always want to be sitting next to, to mom. Our little brother is bugging him. He's soon, you know, soon going to be getting into driver's ed. I do have to check it out. Thank you all for the comments. I will talk to the insurance company and see if it makes a difference which ones he takes. Um, I think we're going to be able to get him a job, hoping, at McDonald's in Plymouth because um, the other McDonald's turned him down because he was uh, 15. They said they don't hire 15-year-olds. Well, the one in Plymouth does. So next week he's on spring break, and so he doesn't have restrictions when they don't have school. He has restrictions when they have school on his work permit. And so um, I'm trying to get all that done so that 
maybe we didn't get him in and get him trained next week because we got to get a work permit from the school before Friday and today's Wednesday so I'll finish so I'm finished that tonight and call them and then maybe they can give us the paperwork we need to run in and get a work permit I, it's not in big deal they just have to sign a thing saying he's allowed to work and he's a straight-a student so it, that's not gonna be an issue um, so anyway that's what's been going on I tell you I I have not really been ignoring you on purpose <laughs> I've been trying to I've been trying to get on here it's just that it just life has been busy and now that um, I can't put kids on here anymore um, there are a lot of things I would have had time to do it but they would have been in the video and uh, I don't I don't trust you two as far as you know I've already got the one strike and for reasons that I shouldn't have and um, just out of pure meanness out of some uh, somebody's part so um, I don't want to rock any more boats and it is still raining and it's gonna rain all day long um, it didn't rain on me when I stopped at the store I had to get some towels and some kitty litter and oh the sleeping medicine um, dollar shelf <laughs> so um and we'll get an allergy medicine all four of us have seasonal allergies and i ran out of allergy medicine um, so i had to pick up some more poor poor jesse yesterday his eyes were watery and he was sneezing he must have sneezed 20 times yesterday and i finally gave him um one of like a day quill or something just to kind of stop up his nose a little bit because it's running like a sieve and um, so now i got some allergy medicine he can take that uh, will help with his watery eyes and uh, nose and i've been feeling allergies Aiden looks like he's having allergies uh, he hasn't complained yet but he did laugh when he said uh, we were going so I don't know where we're going and he, yesterday and he goes it's springtime and I said it's springtime it's springtime I said he said you know I got the bus day and it smelled like spring and I said I know and my allergies are telling me it's springtime too and he laughed and said yeah I know so he's obviously having this stuff too but anyway that is our life, and this has turned out to be more like a parental um, video vlog than a chronic illness dementia vlog. But um, that's my life, and uh, I tell you, as frustrated as I get with these boys, you know, I love them to the moon and back. I would do anything for them. They, um, I truly believe, they are the reason. That I am still alive with everything that has gone on and they're the reason that I'm still hanging on to my brain because um, I have to I, I don't have any choice and um, I know it's not something you can will but I think in some ways you can and I only say that because um, you know, I, I watched my mom die, and um, it was obvious to me at the end when she was in a coma, she knew perfectly well what, what well what was going on, and and I can get into that if you guys want to know about that because um, it's kind of a I think amazing story. Um, but she picked the moment to let go and to the end she had to have control of that and um, so you know 
I don't do I think that I can keep it from progressing by having the positive attitude no not really but um, you know I can find it and choose not to dwell on it and not look at it and um, try to get as much done as I possibly can in the meantime try to get my household to understand what I'm going through I got two and a half that's three um, Third, the third one will come around. Actually, he has always been the most supportive of the three, so it takes him a while. Once he comes around, he'll be the rock. And so, um, I'm not really worried about that so much. Um, but we'll get him driving, and then by the time he gets his license, then we'll get Randy started with um, driver's ed. And pretty soon I'll have a couple drivers and then they can get behind the wheel. And I won't have to anymore. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, I, I still have no problems driving. Uh, we, um, the doctor doesn't want to give me a test. I see him. I see the neurologist in April, and we'll talk about it. If he thinks that I need a driver's test, he'll give me a note. If he doesn't think, uh, he won't. Uh, the thing I'm noticing is that uh, the nights are bad, or worse, not bad. They're not bad yet, but they're worse, and um, I'm just flat out worthless after about eight o'clock. And so, um, if I stay up all day. And so, if that's the case, then that's the case, you know. Um, we just won't do anything after eight o'clock until somebody else has a driver's license. And then, we'll start doing things after eight o'clock. Uh, but I can't answer questions. I can't, you know, I, I can get by if nobody challenges me if nobody um, quizzes me or asks me, you know, academic questions, I can do it earlier in the day. I can do it right after school. I cannot do it late at night. And so um, that took a while to get everybody to understand what they understand. So I think we're going to be able to get this house in order as far as... I'm hoping because I need to be honest with them. They need to know where things stand. Um, I, you know, try to protect them. That doesn't work. Um, that's not fair to them. I uh, need to remain honest. Um, and it's not fair to me for nobody to understand what, what's going on. So, with that, live life to the fullest, live life with no regrets, and we'll see you next time. Bye.